Today, we find ourselves in Exodus chapter 21. And I have to warn you, it's a chapter that's easy enough to read, but the application of it? Well, not so much. After reading this passage, it's easy to say, what does this have to do with me? I'm not a Hebrew servant. I'm not digging a pit and leaving it uncovered. And I don't even own a bull. But let me encourage you to read it again in the context of community. As we pick up the story, God has already given the Ten Commandments. And now he begins to give laws that will help the Hebrews to live with each other in community. They're laws for daily living. And here's the thing, just as God was concerned with every facet of the lives of the Israelites thousands of years ago, so he is with the details of your life and my life today. I don't know about you, but I tend to separate different areas of my life, work, home, family, friends, hobbies. This separation keeps me from being overwhelmed. And that's where Exodus 21 comes in. I believe God is reminding the children of Israel, as well as you and I today, that while he's obviously to be the center of our spiritual lives, he's not to be separated from the rest of our lives. For us to really be connected with each other, we have to submit ourselves totally and completely to God's word. For instance, we can't live in hatred or indifference with someone in our community and worship God with them at the same time. That's not going to happen. For community to work, each one of us must put others ahead of ourselves. That's the way our community in Christ functions. So as you read today, let me encourage you not to focus on the cultural issues of the Israelites, but on how God would lead you through examples in their daily life to live our lives together in this community we call the church.